Welcome back to Star Control Origins. In the last episode, we met the um, whatever their names were, uh, Maulings, and I thought that we'd go to their homeworld. Um, we have a quest here somewhere. Make contact with the Maulings' homeworld. I believe that someone told me where it was. The Delta Cepheus B system. So. Let's try to find that system. That is if it's A, that is if it's... Well, K. B, right. Off we go. Not a very long way to go, you see. Okay. I like the names of these planets here, Bloop and Moop. Overmind, 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 overmind. Okay, yeah, sure. If you say so, overmind. There's some of those space fish as well. We have several quests that we can complete in the area. It should be a quest filled episode, I hope. It's a nasty cuff you got there. Oh, it's <coughs> nothing. Jeff will take care of it. Who's Jeff? He's our god. He fixes problems for us. <coughs> Your god is named Jeff. He sure is. It's a pretty neat name for a god, huh? You should talk to him yourself! He's around here somewhere. Try shooting one of us! That usually brings him around in a hurry! <coughs> Actually, don't! Don't do that! Uh-huh, right. We're seeking allies and assistance to fight the strike. Wow. We're going to need Jeff's permission for. You should go talk to him about that. Somehow I suspect that the Mank Mac are involved in this endeavor. Tell us about yourselves. Wow! The only person who's ever asked about us is Jeff! And he sometimes seems kind of tired of hearing it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Tell us about your history. have that. It definitely didn't all get destroyed in a library fire. Which we definitely don't have happen every few years. <coughs> mm -hmm. You burn your library down every few years? Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Our catastrophic library fires occur mm -hmm. on more of a monthly basis. But Jeff's been able to piece together a bit of our past. He says we were very nice beings, and that we were very lucky to grow up on a world with nothing but plants. Indeed! Which is funny, because so many of those plants have killed us over the years. We have a rhyme we tell our children. Watch out for the plants, the plants, the plants! They'll get you! That doesn't rhyme. Well, it's for children. Anyways. Eventually, we mastered some of the more docile plants. Then we began the long process of inventing technology and industrial accidents. Mm -hmm. It'd all make a very interesting story, I'm sure. I kind of wish we hadn't set fire to it all. <coughs> I'm speechless. How did you get a living god? Decades ago, a comet was about to hit us. We sent some mallings in a rocket to stop it, but they just ran into it pretty hard. Boom. <laughs> Ouch. So, we started working on kind of a, a paddle thing to bounce it away. 
Mm -hmm. But before we could finish, Jeff appeared and stopped the comet for us. <coughs> <coughs> then he started helping us with other things. One thing led to another, and that's how he became our god. <coughs> you should talk to him yourself if you want to know more. Do you know anything about other aliens? I also have a very strange suspicion that we are going to end up as gods for these things, and I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that, but okay. Yes! But not much! <laughs> There's Jeff! Obviously! We love Jeff! And the scribe! We're just okay! Mm -hmm. Other than that, there are the ones with the thingies! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, right, tell us about the scribe. The scribe? The angry ones with the four feet? <laughs> they showed up when we had rockets and told us we were now part of their empire. Then we never saw them again. They seem nice. Hmm. They are horrible villains. Oh, then maybe they aren't nice. No. Have you heard about their wards rising up against them? We don't know anything about that. Jeff suggested we stay away from the other aliens until we get a little better at rockets. Can't say I disagree with him. Tell us about the aliens with the thingies. Yeah, they have those little thingies. The ones they play with? By themselves? With their hands? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pardon? The little computer thingies? Right. Oh, you mean the tr <laughs> you mean the trundles? If you say so. <laughs> They're really cool and really mean to us. We like them. <laughs> you should talk to them yourselves. You can find them in the Corpus Cluster. Kind of already did that, and it wasn't a good experience. So we wanted to ask about something else. Goodness, so many questions. That's getting annoying. That's enough questions for now. Is there anything else, not Jeff? <coughs> Can we buy some supplies? Much of interest, I suppose. Science Officer Blower and Morkbeck, engineer. We'll do, of course, the navigator and first officer carry right, right back. Not much of interest here. Mm, no one dray or horror. Okay. Yeah, the scribe battle cruiser definitely seems to be very interesting indeed. Nice. Horrible turn rate, though. Hmm. Let's get rid of a uh, Tyrant Defender and a UK Grasper, and I think that should be enough to actually add that. Um, where it went. Just blind it would seem. Where did it go? There. There we go. Okay. Um, so, where do I find this? Jeff, what is that? That 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 looks like an interesting spacecraft. Is that Jeff? Ishara, that's probably the moon. Yum. Yeah, it is Jeff. Let's have a small chat with this Jeff. Doesn't seem to be a main character. Hello, I'm Jeff. Kind of a weird question, are you God? Oh, so you met the Malings then? Yes, I suppose I am a god of sorts to them. How? It is a long story, which I will now make short. I was passing through this system and observed a comet was about to crash into the Malings planet. They were trying to build a big space paddle to bounce it away. It was ill-conceived. Mm -hmm. So, I stepped <clears> in and saved them. They thanked me and built this big building in my honor. 
but then it collapsed and killed a bunch of them. I was horrified, so I started helping out here and there, and, as so often happens in these cases, I became their god. <laughs> I always wondered how one got into that line of work. It's no line of work. It's an immense burden. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to help me tend to the Mowlings? Oh dear. Um, what help could you possibly need? I need to leave the Mowlings. Oh dear. It's not safe for me to spend so much time around them. I won't bore you with the details. You wouldn't understand them anyways. Mm -hmm. But I cannot play God any longer. Mm -hmm. You can. We don't really want to play God. Well then, think of it as a mentorship then. I could not physically care less. Or at all. At least let me tell you what needs to be done. Yes, please. The main problem is that the Mowlings die too much. They explode mm -hmm. too much. They self-immolate too much. There's a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. I'd like to stop that. Or at least slow it down. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed that the Mowlings are currently all coughing. Mm -hmm. Which is strange. They're not normally prone to disease. Just accidents. The infection is getting worse too. Although the only symptom for now is just the cough. If my analysis is correct, soon the Mowlings will begin exploding. Right. Of course they will. There is a species in these parts. A sentient bioweapon. Recently I've seen one of their ships in this area. Mm -hmm. When I asked the Mowlings, they confirmed they'd met the bioweapons. And hugged them. Mm. That must be the source of this illness. Find the bioweapons. Speak with them. Don't die. Then demand they make a cure. So the sentient bioweapons probably is the overmind and I'm kind of embarrassed to say that we were just as naive as the Mowlings. <laughs> oh well, we'll try that. Thanks. Now then, is there anything else I can do for you? We had some questions about you. I'm sure you do. What would you like to know? Tell us about your race. The easiest way for you to think of me is as a probe. Long ago, my makers sent me into the galaxy to prepare the way for them. For millennia, I gathered resources, terraformed planets, and made copies of myself. Then moved on to the next star. It was all for nothing. My makers died. Awful things took them. Space is horrible that way. It's an old story. With my design goal complete, I was left alone, purposeless. So I decided to wander. I explored. I visited the core and returned again. Sometimes I helped the young aliens I met. Sometimes I avoided them. Sometimes I would nap for a few turnings of the galaxy's arms. But always, I was alone. There are few of my kind left, and it's been a long time since I saw another. Right. Sorry about that. That was just my uh, cell phone. I'm going to mute that shortly. There we go. Um, and your name's Jeff. Translation is an inexact science, involving multiple subjective decisions on issues of syntax and semantics. The closest translation of my name in your language is, yes, Jeff. Well, the short version of my name. Mm-hmm. What's the long version of your name? Jeff Defer. <coughs> Jeff Defer. <coughs> Are you all hovering light then? What you see is a projection. Of course. A variant on the anatomy of the beings who made me. Plus some features I added on for fun. In reality, my body is not much to look at. Not with your eyes. My body, such as it is, 
exists in the first seven dimensions. Then I skip a couple. Then I'm back again in the next four. Mm-hmm. Why'd you skip those two dimensions? They make me look fat. Oh my. <laughs> Did you know the precursors? Or precursors? Is that what you call them? They find that very funny. Yes, I knew them. Very shaggy. I can't say anything more about them, I'm afraid. Why not? I made a promise. Oh. You wanted to ask about something else. What do you want to know? Would you be willing, willing to ally with us? I'm afraid not. I was intending to move on pretty soon. My time with the Malwings has exhausted my patience for the affairs of young, immature aliens. With all your mewling and dying and clumsy, clumsy mating. Settle your affairs yourselves. Right, that's enough questions for now. Well then, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, we'll be going now. So long. Um, somehow I suspect that we're not going to see you again. Um, let's just have a quick look at the moons and planets in the system. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here either. This place looks veritably, really, really deadly, and there is nothing of interest here either. That is interesting. So if this guy leaves, that, that could be a problem. Well, I guess this place is interesting. And beautiful actually. Funky colors. I guess a planet like this would be quite valuable. Not sure how you'd actually mine the planet itself, but. Where's the final thing? There it is. Mm. Ah. Someone asked me if I could do a barrel roll. I almost did a barrel roll there, but I don't think it's possible. Nope. Right, off we go. Um, so is he leaving the system without telling the Maulings that apparently I am now replacing their god? Sai. Oh goodness! Visitors! Welcome! Welcome! Praise Jeff that you survived your trip across the stars! Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll just Jeff go. be with you! Yeah, about that. So this planet cannot be landed upon, since it's obviously a colony. Not sure why they wouldn't have it a black planet. Visit more husks. All husks will be overmined. Right, thank you for that tidbit of information. Is there a planet on the outer... Oh, there's another lane out there as well. Jeff didn't leave just yet. He might be telling them about. Or maybe he's waiting for us to find the uh, bioweapon antidote, whatever thing. 
let's have a look at this space fish. Mm-hmm. Recording this right. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we'll soon be able to make some sense of this. <laughs> Let's try this brute of a thing. Yeah, that that should definitely do the trick. Oh dear, the turn rate of this thing is absolutely atrocious. Really, really bad. Hey, how dare you? There we go. So, we need to kill one more fish before we can understand their language. Nya, nya, nya. I suppose. Oof. Oof has some thulium that I want to pick up. And lots of TZO crystals as well. I'm not sure I want to bother with them though. Oh, I suppose I can pick them up. Oh no, it's one of these planets that has everything separated out in bits and pieces of one, two, and threes. I'm not really interested in the silicone. Well, that was nearly a backflip at least, even if I'm not able to do a barrel roll. That should be it. I'm not going to bother with shooting up the stones. So that was oof. How about oop? It's not nice to fat shame a planet, even if it's a big gas giant. R. Protactinium and astatin. Yeah, I'll go for that. This is a very funky planet. I would be slightly um, mentally disturbed by this planet in real life. And off we go. Or oh, moon, I suppose, not planet. Or oh, fat. I wonder if there's owls on this moon. Nope, there are some magnetic monopoles though. I have no idea where they are, but we'll find them soon enough. Picking up this so something I can sell, which isn't worth less than five at least. I can take with me you as well, and then bounce over here and take these and really planet. Toodles. No, moon again. So what about the moon of Moop? Whatever it's called, Meep. It's the Moop Moon, right. And I'm completely unable to drive. Oh, there's a fish. Hello. I want to talk to you or kill you. Um. Maybe I should have talked to them.
That's simple enough. Captain, we've received a message from the Mi'kmaq homeworld. Apparently, due to space beast related circumstances, they have had to re. Yeah. So in the Alpha Moose system now. Hopefully, there's no Mies there. I'm guessing that space monster was the thing on that other planet. And I wonder what the heck is going on with that thing, and if we are going to be able to do anything about it, because that thing was big, and it insta-hit my, or insta-killed my lander. Okay, um... Yeah, we haven't entered the uh, conversation, so we have to do that. Trandals. Um... What? We didn't actually... Yeah, find the sentient bioweapons. I'm pretty sure these sentient bioweapons are the trandals. So let's head over there and have a look. Bowling Sclergy. Wait, a space fish. Oh, I'm not that quick. One more space fish up here. Yep. Go. Hello. Mm -hmm. If you say so. Hopefully we'll soon be able to make some sense of this. Very nice. I, you, you are very nice singers. <clears throat> I kind of miss the Iroquan ships in terms of powerfulness and so forth. I mean, these guys are obviously powerful as well, but the turn rate was really, really bad. Okay, can I talk to you guys now? Hey! I hailed you. Oh dear, that's a scribe battle cruiser. And something else is following me around as well. Scribe Claw. Hmm. The surprisingly sturdy human vessel approaches. Yes. I cannot tell you how delighted I am that I will be the one who claims the honor of destroying you. Ah, uh, whatever. No. Savage. Yes. Not while we still exist. I'll just have to kill you first. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Turning this thing around takes time. Much time. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> this ship would be pretty nice if the um, turning rate wasn't so horribly bad. There we go. I'm not going to hang around here with more scribe. I want space fish. What is that? That is a space fish. Hello. That still doesn't make any sense. That should be enough data now. Song metal vessel. Mm -hmm. Your cacophonous kind is not welcome here. Stop now and sing your intentions. Yes. Uh, who are you? We are Grigrox. You have entered the Ancient One exclusion zone. Metal vessels are not permitted here. I just want to learn more about you and your people. Yes, metal vessels sing this tune a lot. We will make it clear for you. The Ancient One is our home, our cradle, our best friend. You will swim nowhere near him. Tell us about yourselves. No. Okay. Sorry. Sing to us about yourselves. Tra la la. Do not mock us, Metal Vessel. Um, where do you come from? When our song began, we were on the surface of the Ancient One, cleaning his flesh. Other Metal Vessels call us parasites. This term has connotations. Your kind have many biases against ours. No. Parasites are not. For a long time, this life was enough for us. But eventually, we learned to do more. Organization, community, harmonies layered upon harmonies. Civilization, as metal vessels call it. Tell us about the Ancient One. We will not sing of the Ancient One with your kind. Metal vessels are no friends of the Ancient One. He is currently in the Beta Link system. But we tell you this so that you can avoid him. Metal vessels must not approach. Okay. We live in space. How does that work? How do you work? You are the strange one here, Metal Vessel. What do you eat? Small amounts of methane leak from vents on the Ancient One. We feast on that and other organic compounds that occur naturally on his surface. Why do you talk in the plural? We exist in the plural. Oh. Before memory begins, Grigrox could only feed around certain vents on the surface of the Ancient One. We lived in clusters. A Grigrox could not survive alone. As our song grew stronger, we grew past these limitations. We could carry food with us. We could leave the surface of the Ancient One. But we were still Grigrox. We traveled in schools. It is our way. Mm -hmm. We wanted to ask about something else. <laughs> of course you do. <clears throat> we wanted to ask about something else. Oh god. We'll just be going now. Swim carefully, metal vessel. Yeah, yay. We don't have to uh, worry about having them as our enemies. Beta Lynx. That is all the way down there. We've been there. It's the main pack home world. Or used to be. Is that the ancient one? That thing that is killing them? Um, right. Um, I think that this is a good place to end the episode. So uh, thank you all for joining me. And uh, I... Hope you're as, e as eager as me to figure out this storyline now. It's, it's getting very interesting now. So see you all next time.